Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class. Our textbook is We Can 3 and today inshallah we will cover uh, unit 12 My Dream Vacation Grammar on page 93. So this uh, lesson will be presented by me teacher Mazen Harbi and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al-Aqil. So let's begin. Quick revision in our last lesson. In our last lesson, we did talk about the grammar, which is going to plus a verb. And we said that here we use going to not to talk about direction of a place. Like, for example, when we say that uh, I am going to school or I am going to the supermarket or I am going to my friend's house. Here, we said that we use going to, which means to talk about our plans, to talk about our, the, uh, our uh, wishes or our wills, about the things that uh, we want to do in the future. And how are we going to use this? We're going to use it if we add going to, and after going to, we added a verb. We added a verb. And in last lesson, we did read a couple of sentences about how to use going to and we add to the going to a regular verb. So now, let's listen to the first sentence. And after we listen to the first sentence, as with each sentence, we're going to explain how we did the use going to and also the verb that follows going to and we added uh, to it. So here, grammar in action, listen and chant, going to plus a verb. Number one, I am going to visit the city of Abha in Asir. I am going to visit the city of Abha in Asir. So here with number one, here we, uh, someone is talking about his plan. Someone is talking about the, uh, a thing that he wants to do in the future, which is visiting Abha in Asir. So here, we, how we did form this sentence? We started first by subject pronoun. I am. I'm talking here about myself. I am. And after this, we use going to. We did use going to. And again, here we're not uh, uh, talking about going to a place, like uh, when we say going to school or mosque. Here we're talking or using going to to talk about uh, uh, something that we want to do in the future. So, I am going to, and what is the verb that we use after going to? Visit. I am going to visit, which means my plans uh, or my plan is visiting Abha. This is in my plan. And how I describe it, how I express this, uh, uh, this plan, by saying, I am going to. So, I am going to visit the city of Abha in Asir region. So, this is what we can use or where we can use going to when we add to it a uh, verb. Now, let's listen to the second sentence. Number two. You are going to watch camel races in Riyadh. You are going to watch camel races in Riyadh. So here, in the second sentence, we, we use different subject pronoun. And we can use different subject pronoun with going to. So here we use you are, we're talking about you now. You are going to, and what is the going to we said? Going to is not for a place. Going to is when you talk about, it's about plans. It's about things that you want to do in the future. So here we say you are going to watch camel races in Riyadh. So here we can use 
going to to talk about our plans and we can use add after going to any kind of verb so in the previous one we said I am going to visit the verb is visit and here we said I am going to watch or you are going to watch camel races in Riyadh so you can choose uh, as many verbs as you can with going to what is important here is that you know that going to here is not for places it's about uh, uh, it's to talk about plans that we want to do in the future now let's listen to the third sentence the third sentence is he is going to visit the children's art show at the Kingdom Tower. He is going to visit the children's art show at the Kingdom Tower. So here we have another subject pronoun that we can use with this role, going to plus a verb. And the subject pronoun is he is. So, when we're talking about someone else, not me and not you, we said he is going to visit the children's art show. So, here we said we use going to to talk about plans, to talk about things that uh, we want to do in the future. And after uh, going to, we use directly, we use the verb, the regular verb, which is in this case, uh, visit. He is, he is going to visit the children's art show that we can see in the Kingdom Tower Center. Now, this is about the third sentence. Now, let's listen to the fourth one. The fourth one. <coughs> she is going to shop in Dubai. She is going to shop in Dubai. So here we have another subject pronoun. So before here we have he is and now we have she is. Uh, this is the new pronoun that we can use with going to plus a verb. And we can say sentence like she is going to shop in Dubai. So here we use the going to because to talk about her plans, to talk about the thing that she wants to do when she goes to Dubai. Okay, so we use going to and after going to we did use a regular verb that she is going to shop in Dubai and to buy different things. Now, let us move on to number five. Number five. We are going to go rock climbing in the Wadi Rum Reserve in Jordan. We are going to go rock climbing in the Wadi Rum Reserve in Jordan. So here with number five, we did use another subject pronoun, which is we are, me and you. We are going to go. So this example will show exactly the difference between when we say go to a place or when we say go for a uh, or going to for to talk about our plans in the future. So here going to is actually the verb that we use to express or to talk about our plans. But here go is another verb which is to go rock climbing to practice uh, rock climbing when we go to the reserve that we can find in Wadi Rum in Jordan. So here another subject pronouns we can use and also with, we uh, stick with the same idea that we use going to to talk about our plans to talk about the things that uh, we want to do in the future and to add to it a verb to add to a uh, going to a regular uh, verb now this is about the uh, fifth sentence now let's listen to the uh, last one 
Number six. They are going to eat traditional dishes in Lebanon. They are going to eat traditional dishes in Lebanon. So here we have another subject pronoun we did use, which is they are. They are. Also, we remain with the same idea that we use going to to talk about places, uh, to talk about uh, plans or the things that we want to do in the future. So, they are, they are going to eat uh, traditional dishes in Lebanon. And here we use uh, eat uh, as a regular verb that we use straight after going to. So, with all of these six examples, it shows uh, us the real difference between or how we use going to plus a verb that we use going to with a verb to talk about our plans. I'm going to play, I'm going to do my homework, I'm going to study for the exam, I'm going to call my friend, I'm going to pray. So going to with a verb means that I want to do this in the future. Now, Let's go back to the first sentence and let's listen to it and chant it together so we will have better understanding on how we, uh, these sentence, uh, sentences are formed. So what I would like you to do is to listen to me and also to chant with me while I'm chanting. Number one, I am going to visit the city of Abha in Asir. I am going to visit the city of Abha in Asir. Number two, you are going to watch camel races in Riyadh. You are going to watch camel races in Riyadh. Number three, he is going to visit the children's art show at the Kingdom Tower. He is going to visit the children's art show at the Kingdom Tower. Number four. She is going to shop in Dubai. She is going to shop in Dubai. Number five. We are going to go rock climbing in the Wadi Rum Reserve in Jordan. We are going to go rock climbing in the Wadi Rum Reserve in Jordan. Number six, they are going to eat traditional dishes in Lebanon. They are going to eat traditional dishes in Lebanon. So this is about our chant going to plus a verb. Now also last lesson we did cover all of the subject pronouns and we said that we can use going to plus a verb, any kind of verb, with the same subject pronoun without making any changes. We can say, I am going to visit. You are going to visit. He is going to visit. She is going to visit. We are going to visit. And they are going to visit. So no matter what the subject pronoun is, we uh, use the same form. We use going to and we add to it a verb. Now let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. We hope that at the end of our lesson, you will be able to chant the, uh, the going to plus a verb chant and also to use the future going to correctly. So I would like you now to open your books on page 93. I'd like you please to open your books on page 93. On page 93, you can see a game, an interesting game actually, which is travel and do. So what you're going to do here is that you can play travel and do with a partner by answering two questions. So imagine that you and your partner, maybe your uh, classmates from your classroom, or maybe one of your family members, or even one of your closest uh, friend. So you gather around and you have a look at this table. So here in this table, we have uh, different uh, places. 
And these uh, places are Najran, Dubai, Riyadh, Lebanon, Jeddah, Oman, Jordan, Dammam, and uh, Jaizan. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to answer a simple question. You can ask your partner a simple question, which is, where are you going? Where are you going? And your partner must choose a place. He or she can say, I am going to Jordan, or I am going to Jeddah, or I am going to Najran. So, uh, your partner must choose a place, any place of these uh, places. And if he or she did choose a place, then you will move on to the second question. Now, let's read the second question. What are you going to do there? What are you going to do there? So, here we have two going to. Here, when we say where you are going, we're talking about place. And here when we say, what are you going to do, here we're talking about plans, action. What you are going to do when you go to this place. So your partner can choose from these different actions. Ride, climb, visit, drive, eat, cam, watch, swim, shop. So here uh, he or she can start uh, the answer by saying, I am going to drive. I am going to eat. I am going to shop. So she or he can choose uh, different uh, actions. So at the end of our lesson, I hope that you can able, uh, to, uh, you are able to say the chant and to say where you want to go on your trip and what you want to do. And now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.